Welcome to part 3 of Introduction to Contract for Difference, Pricing. In this video, I will be covering the costs involved when trading CFDs with Philip. To begin, every CFD contract will incur these charges, Opening Commission, Closing Commission, and Finance Charge. Finance Charge only applies if you hold your position for more than a day. Do note that only Opening and Closing Commission are subject to GST. Finance charge is calculated on a daily basis based on 100% mark-to-market contract value. We will take the closing price of the contract on each day for the calculation. Also, it is charged based on calendar day. You will see two terms for finance charge on your transaction history. Long finance charge will be termed as interest charge. Short finance charge will be termed as borrowing charge. I will be using three examples to illustrate how to calculate the charges for various CFD trades. First would be an example of an equity CFD position that is held for 3 days. Let's say you open a long position of contract A, 5,000 contracts at $3. Your contract value would be 15,000. 3 days later, you cover your position at $3.20, which will be 16,000 in contract value. The assumption for this trade will be commission charge 0.128%, minimum 25, and finance charge at 2.5% per annum. To calculate the first part, opening commission, we use commission rate times contract value, which will get us $19.20. Minimum applies, hence the opening commission will be $26.75 after GST. Secondly, we will calculate the finance charge. The formula that we use is contract value times finance charge rate per annum divided by 365. Given that the closing price is 310 on day 1, we will use the contract value of 15,500 times 2.5% divided by 365, which will get us $1.06. Using the same formula for day 2, we will get $1.08. Since you covered this position on day 3, finance charge is only applicable for the first 2 days. Lastly will be the closing commission which, in this case, will be $26.75 as well. The total cost for this trade will be all the three values added together, amounting to $55.64. One of the biggest advantages of trading with Philips CFD is that we offer amalgamation of contracts across buy and sell for equity CFD. Amalgamation is a practice of combining your buy and sell trade, which are traded within the day, so that we only charge you commission once. This is applicable to clients who do not hit the minimum commission from respective equity markets. An example of an intraday equity CFD trade. Using the same example previously, only that you covered your outstanding position 3 hours later. In this case, there will still be opening and closing commission, but no finance charge because you did not hold your position to the next trading day. The total commission will be $20.54 plus $21.91 which will amount to $42.45. Without amalgamation, you will have to pay the minimum commission twice for both your buy and sell trade, amounting to $53.50. Lastly, an example for World Indices CFD. Using STI SGD5 CFD as an example, you place a trade to long two contracts at 3,000 points. The contract value calculation will be quantity times points times value per point, which will be $30,000. Opening commission for STI is $3 per site per contract, long finance charge at 1.5% per annum. Hence, the opening commission will be $6.42, finance charge will be $2.56, based on the respective closing prices as shown above, and closing commission will be $6.42 as well. For detailed pricing on other markets and indices that we offer, you may visit www.philipscfd.com pricing. If you require further clarification, you may utilize the live chat function on our website to talk to us. Do take note that all contents covered in this presentation are for general information only and does not constitute a recommendation. All investments are subject to investment risk. That will be all for part 3. To open a CFD account, feel free to contact us. Do remember to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos. Thank you and goodbye.